ABC's Gio Benitez is there at the Kennedy Space Center. And Gio, you got a chance to spend some time with these two astronauts who are about to make history. I have a feeling they were cool as cucumbers, right? And that's what's incredible, Lindsay, how calm these astronauts are when they're getting ready to take off and lift off in that spaceship. You know, what's also interesting is a lot of people always say, oh, learn a little bit about everything. These astronauts have to learn a lot about everything. They have to become experts in just about everything you can think of. So right here now, a closer look at Bob and Doug. Go, Bob, go, Dragon. When the engines light, two veteran NASA astronauts will launch America into a new era of space exploration. Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley will captain Elon Musk's SpaceX Crew Dragon, technically a test flight to the International Space Station, but America's first commercial manned mission. It's uh, probably a dream of every test pilot school student to have the opportunity to fly on a brand new spaceship, and I'm lucky enough to get that opportunity uh, with my good friend here, uh, uh, Doug Hurley. Doug Hurley, an upstate New York native, is a former Marine fighter pilot. Bob Behnken, born in St. Anne, Missouri, an Air Force engineer. Between them, 40 years in the space program. When liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. Hurley was on board the final space shuttle mission in 2011, the last flight before the program officially retired. I certainly didn't expect to fly again. I certainly didn't necessarily have a plan to fly again. Five years ago, when we were, the four of us were selected, you know, I was asked that question if I wanted to fly again, and if so, uh, on a commercial vehicle, and I thought that was probably a, uh, an exciting thing to do and the right thing to do at that point, and, uh, and, and here we are. Bob Behnken has more than 700 hours in space and six spacewalks under his belt. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. The right stuff runs deep in both families. Their better halves are also decorated NASA astronauts. Megan MacArthur, married to Bob, and Karen Nyberg, married to Doug, all four in the NASA class of 2000. Two families tied together by one interstellar connection. Our families have been in this development program for, for five years. We've seen, you know, um, launch date, kind of come and go and for me this is this is starting to finally feel real when the day comes that we watch the guys um, walking out to go to the launch pad um, even then it'll even more so um, start to hit to hit home in that way at liftoff both families young sons will be watching from the launch pad this drawing by Hurley's son a reminder that spaceships are as American as apple pie something Doug Hurley knew back then on the Atlantis' final flight. It goes transonic for the final time. It's a lot of emotion today, but one thing's indisputable. America's not going to stop exploring. Godspeed. All right, Gio Benitez right there. Gio, an incredible piece there. I, I am curious because you are at the Kennedy Space Center. How far are you from the actual rocket, and what is the weather looking like? Because right now, that's the big unknown. Yeah, so we are about three and a half miles from that launch pad right now. We're getting a little bit of rain here and there, but it has to be exactly right at 4.33 p.m. Now, the first critical moment is happening at 3.48 p.m., so that's just about 12 minutes from now. Sorry, 22 minutes from now. Uh, and that is critical because that is when they decide whether or not they are going to load the fuel. So we will be watching that very closely. Talk. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.